Leos. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm G. This is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. Clearing out the energy here with some Palo Santo. Oh my gosh, I just spilled my whole bowl of salt back there. Oh my gosh. That's all right. You know what? At least we got salt, right? Try to look on the bright side. Let me bring the bowl. And once more. Hello Leos, welcome again. <laughs> I'm Jade. And this is going to be your luck and abundance reading, alright? Whether you have Leo and your Sun Moon Rising or Venus, there could be messages here for you on how to bring in the most luck and abundance and uh, financial success. All right, possible for your highest good. The cards I'm using, um, I will list them in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, that information can also be found in the description box below, as well as the link to follow me on Instagram if you would like to. Power and trust. Wow. We know Leos have power. They're the Leo. Trust is the thing that can be tough, right? What's the animal Leo needs to see? What is the animal Leo should most be like to bring in the most abundance and financial fulfillment? Success. There we go. Ooh, the dragonfly magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Love that. What's on the bottom? Huh. The personal choice card. This is any animal you want. when that card comes out, right? So, Angel Spirits Guides, oops, please allow me to see clearly for Leo, for their highest good. So what I'm doing here for um, the luck and abundance, I'm getting the spiritual advice, okay? I've modified a Celtic cross spread, and uh, let's get into it. How should Leo view themselves? bring in the most abundance and success. Yeah, so many people are getting this. Who the heck? Sagittarius just got Welsh. They got the um, Queen of Pentacles, right? Queen of Pentacles is grounded. She is stable, right? She's abundant. And the Eight of Cups. Huh. So somebody, you, maybe somebody that you had to walk away from or walked away from you. You're stable regardless, okay? What is crossing Leo from bringing in more success or abundance? Four of Wands. This might have rocked your stability right now. This Eight of Cups. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Um, yeah, it, it may have rocked your, your world, maybe your finances. You know, if you've recently gone through separation or changed careers or um, went into a new job, lost your job. Um, wow, King of Swords. Hold on. King of Swords just came out. This could involve a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. Does not have to. Somebody could have just been kind of a jerk. And uh, here we are, you know. All right. Regardless, regardless of how you got here, Emperor, this could have been an older man. It could have been an Aries. I mean, that just that just flew out. Okay. Um, so, yeah. It could be somebody like that as well. An older figure. I'm going to put these back in. I haven't even asked yet, but yeah, just, just so you know, that's, that's what it could be, or it could be a higher up, it being the emperor and all. Um, okay, so what, uh, what's Leo's highest vibe self doing here? Justice. Okay, so there could be a legal thing, or you might work in the legal system. Ace of Cups. Ten of Wands reversed. 
doesn't look like he wanted to end something, but it seems like he did regardless, or he didn't really want to have to, you know, but, okay, show me the lower cell for Leo, okay, wow, the sun, <laughs> the empress, king of cups, so you're looking good regardless, all right, you're looking good regardless, Leo, as usual, jeez. Oh, in the recent past. Okay, we got judgments, queen of swords, five of swords. Yeah, you're you you've become discerning. You've walked away from a situation here. It could have been a divorce. It could have been a legal battle to split up a business, a corporation, something to that extent. Um, show me the the near future potential. Knight of <laughs> Knight of Wands. Take it easy. Take it easy. Seven of Swords, no, don't do that. Um, or be careful um, going out and thinking you're going to get over something fast and fiery. Um, yeah, because you might end up having too much to drink and it being like kind of a messy situation. And you might not be thrilled with that. But, oh, interesting. There's also an opportunity... <laughs> Um, that's something that starts out fiery and kind of fun actually ends in um, uh, some type of reconciliation and um, a move for you or something that could take you to a distance or uh, travel. Okay, so just be careful. <laughs> just do everything with the highest good and, you know, uh, with, with clear intentions, all right, and honestly. Okay, make your intentions, you know, clear. That's all. Uh, okay, so advice to bring in more abundance here. All right, we got the moon and the fool. So you might not be able to see uh, this new beginning. Hold on, this is so many. Yeah. Okay. All right, so it looks like this has really thrown you off for now. And you're having a hard time seeing this new path forward. It might be very, like, confusing for you. And you might not want to move right now. All right. And you might be feeling very weak and just not yourself, Leo. This is not Leo normally, okay? Um, so, you know, this advice... Is, is basically saying, like, yes, it's it's going to be a little unknown and scary. And it's going, you know, taking this leap of faith and this new beginning can be scary. And it can be confusing, all right? But take your time, all right? And, um, see, strength up rate is really learning to trust. That's why it's on the bottom here, right? So this in the reverse, right, means the lion is not tamed, right? Rest and get strong again until you're, you're feeling more like you. Okay. Whatever that means for you. Anything Leo should be wary of in their environment. Okay. Hold on. Seven of Pentacles. Two more, okay. All right. Well, there could be somebody um, that you've put an effort with in the past, or um, somebody sees you as very desirable, or you see them as very desirable, very passionate, and as a good match here. Someone's trying to make things happen, move forward, and, and communicate here. Um, wow, that could be a good thing for you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. I like that. Um, she's got her cup closed a little bit, so, you know, the emotions are, are held back a little bit. But um, that could be a nice distraction for a while, right? Um, but it also, it's anything they could be wary of... That could affect the outcome. 
So that's weird though, because it's like also turning people away. It could also affect the outcome. You know what I mean? If it's your match, you know, and you're just not feeling yourself, maybe don't totally shut them down then. You know, maybe just be kind, but keep them at an arm's length until you see more clearly until you're more in your right headspace, you know? Um, okay. That's just some advice. So, potential outcome if Leos follow this advice. Okay, wow. Okay, you're going to be looking at offers. You're going to be looking at options. Yep, new opportunities. And, uh, yeah, defending. Defending your new beginning here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, whatever you're ending and closing out, you're going to be defending that and starting to look at other offers and you're going to find something here, some new potential, new opportunity, a new idea, a new invention, a new path, something. Okay. Yeah. It could even be someone from your past that you felt the betrayed you and you're defensive, but they might have some type of new amazing opportunity or something. I don't know, Leo. Let's see what's on the bottom. The Emperor. The Emperor. Aries energy. Remember that flew out over here, you know, regarding this stuff too. So, um, let's see. This is some Moonology. Further advice. Some more advice for my Leos, please. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. Yeah, I see that happening one way or the other. You're going to have to resolve this, Leo. There's no uh, getting out of this. Meditate and contemplate with the new moon in Pisces. Give me one more for Leo. Hold on here. These get stuck on each other. So when I get, yeah, or, or my finger catches it. <sighs> so when I get towards the bottom, they all kind of clump together. And i got to go through the deck again and again to get the right one. Balance, uh, ba balance, balance spirituality and practicality with the full moon in Pisces. Look at that. That's a full Pisces season. We're in Pisces season. We're in Pisces season. A personal issue is reaching resolution. Now, I feel. You're going to have the strength and power to do it here. You've got some type of magic coming in. You're very close to achieving your goal, a goal with the gibbous moon. Wow. All right, Leo. So thank you so much um, for watching. I wish all of the luck and financial abundance and success in the world to each and every one of you. I truly, truly do. Um, thank you for being here with me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if the spirit so moves you <laughs> to do so. And uh, much love to you all. I hope to see you guys back next time. Bye.